what I have to offer besides my powerful ass vagina, especially when it wasn't being offered to him or anyone else for that matter, I can't fathom how he thinks he got here. Like God didn't use the vessel to carry his ignorant ass for months and months, completely dismissing the pain his mother must have experienced while pushing him out into existence. How wide her vagina must have stretched to get his big head ego out into this world. Maybe he didn't read the Bible to comprehend that I was taken from one of his words because he was missing a vital piece in his life, me. Silly him for not knowing the extent of how powerful a woman in her vagina is. You know, I wonder how he's planning on having kids. It must be pride that blinds men like this from seeing you can't stand up straight without a rib. Mm. You can't take care of anything without a rib. You can't even breathe for too long without a rib. Seems to me like you've been needing a woman since the first day you were placed in your crib. And I'm not saying that a woman doesn't need a man, but you see how Adam didn't speak up knowing damn well that act was banned. My point is, you're supposed to lead me. But instead of preparing, you sitting here asking me what I have to offer besides the very thing that you chase. Mm. Honey, your heart is in the wrong place. You can't lead a nation being filled with bitterness and hate. You can't lead a family if love hasn't been made. You can't lead a woman when you do nothing for respect to be gained. Let me ask you a question. Who hurt you? Did a woman standing her ground offend you? Are you upset because a woman decided she no longer wants to put up with the bullshit you've been putting her through? Let me guess. You get your heart broken one little time and now all women ain't shit. Bible, my bones were made from your bones and my flesh was made from your flesh. So if you can't see a woman's worth, then that says so much more about how you feel about you. And men like this don't give women nothing but stress. And quite frankly, I'm too blessed to be sitting here explaining myself to someone who's worth less. What can you offer besides dick, regret, and half-ass apologies? What man taught you to belittle a queen? It's a shame you feel like you gotta step on me just so you can feel seen. It's giving little dick energy. I wonder if your mother would condone this. Or if you would protect your little sisters if another man felt like this. God didn't intend for man to be alone, but you certainly need to be on your own because you lost your damn mind bringing this energy to a woman's plate with all that she has to deal with on the day to day. I mean, our body seems to be in everyone's business. We're easily judged by our appearance without someone taking the time to get to know what's within us. It's not safe for us to go to certain places alone out of fear that our own brothers might take advantage of us or even harm us. You buy your house, we make it a home. You ask for our hand in marriage and we give you our soul. We carry your children, cook your meals, and support your dreams, all while trying not to lose sight of who we were called to be. We nurture everybody without expecting to be nurtured in return. So why is it so hard for you to protect us and respect us in return? I'm not mad. I just wish you valued yourself the same way God did while he was creating you. Because a real man wouldn't ask a woman what she has to offer because he sees a part of him when he looks into her eyes. A real man knows that I am an extension of him and he is an extension of God. Oh.